So I want to assure us from all of you that our words will actually be used properly, like all of our words, not just the words that make sense in the newscast. Because if you try to twist our words, it's not going to go well. I will be back and I will be talking, I will be asking for another interview because I'm only interested in telling the truth. I'm not interested in twisting because I've seen words twisted by other people. Like I've known people that have talked to people on the news and their words have been edited heavily. I don't like that. I like my words to be said fully, completely, with no censorship. Okay? Can we start with your first and last name as well, sure. please? My name is Daniel James Watson. I was arrested yesterday at St. Anthony of Padua's Catholic Church for no crime whatsoever, except for one, posting signs on private property. That's it. I was also arrested for trespass, but that doesn't make any sense because I was asked to leave and I left. The police actually prevented me from leaving when they arrested me. It's a bit funny there. Yeah. But we were arrested because we were spreading the truth. In fact, we were using the very Bible that they claimed to read to talk to them. Were any of you actually there yesterday? Did any of you take a, t take a look at any of that? Like, the footage that came from there, I know that they took a ton of footage of the van. Repenter Parish on one side, straightasagate.net on the other. 1 John 5, 3 says, For we know, This is how we know that we love God, that we keep his commandments, and his commandments are not grievous. 1 John 2, 4, those that, keep, those that say they love him and keep not his commandments are a liar and the truth is not in them. Right? This is basic stuff. This is our Bible that we're taught that we're taught from a very young age. I'm certain all of you have, are at least familiar with the Bible, correct? You you know the Bible. You've read the Bible. So audience, you've read the Bible too. So why don't we read it? First John five three. Second John uh, First John two four. Second Timothy two fifteen says, "Study to show thyself approved, a workman worthy unto God, rightly dividing the word of truth." All right. Then we can go to the Old Testament. Well, actually, let's start in the New with Matthew 22, 47, 37 to 40, where it says, Yeshua says to the scribes and Pharisees, these are the two greatest commandments. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, soul, and mind. And the second is like unto it, love your neighbor as yourself. Well, what do those mean? Well, you go to Leviticus 19, 17 to 18, you find out that the loving your neighbor as yourself, well, thou shalt, uh, thou shalt not hold hatred against your, against your brethren. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor, and not suffer sin upon him. Thou shalt not bear a grudge, nor avenge the children of thy people. Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. I am the Lord. That's a straight quote, direct, from the Bible. So what's Yeshua actually saying there? Well, the love of God is rebuke. It says in Proverbs 27, verse 5, that open rebuke is better than secret love. It says in 2 Timothy 4, 2, be instant in season and out of season. Preach the word, right? It says, exhort, rebuke, re reproof with all long suffering and doctrine. It also says in 2 Timothy 4 3 that these churches will not hear, they will not endure sound doctrine in those days, but will keep to themselves teachers having itching ears. Like, yeah, I'm talking to the cameras, but I'm also talking to you guys because this is for everyone. This isn't just for who wants to hear it. Well, it is. But we know that a lot of people won't because they don't want to. They've heaped to themselves itching ears. So people, if you're listening to this and you hear anything that convicts your heart, that tells you, you know what, I don't really feel right about that, go read the Bible. Like, that's what it's meant to do. It's meant to tell you exactly what's going on in these end times. This is prophecy after prophecy being fulfilled. I'm gonna be perfectly honest with you. There's, there's some problems coming to this country because we have been lied to for so long and we've allowed the lies to go on that God's angry. He's very, very angry. And he's going to stop this. His way. His way ain't fun. Because it says, better uh, woe unto you, Chorazin. If the word that had been preached in you had been preached in Tyre and Sidon, they would have repented long ago in dust and ashes. Anyone who's read Matthew knows what I'm talking about. But I'm going to give you, I'm going to tell you that it's in Matthew. And he's saying, woe unto these cities in Israel, because they've not listened to what he's had to say. And that's our, that's our Messiah talking. Can I ask you, what's the name of the, uh, what group are you guys with, or just? Um, we're not with, we're not with a group. Okay, well, how can we describe j just the three of you guys? Maybe your religion. Religion, yeah, we just. We don't do religion, we follow the Bible. Religion is a lie from the enemy. So all the thousands of denominations that we have, including the Catholic Church, they're all lying. 
they've been lying for a long time because his name's not Jesus, it's Yeshua. Jesus is Rome's winter solstice pagan demigod. Jesus, a number and a name mentioned in Revelation, 603 score and six. Uh, right. are, where are you guys from? Are you guys traveling through California? Or why did you guys stop in Fresno? We stopped in Fresno because we were told to. Okay. Yeah. Who told you? God. There's no, there's no one person behind this. It's not like there's a mastermind somewhere that's looking to cause problems. No. This is God trying to warn his people that if you don't repent, the end will come and you will be hurt a lot. Like, there's going to be a lot of people that are going to suffer the consequences of God's wrath. I'm not going to be part of that. I, I can't be. And because you're, you're doing a service by leaving these, these messages yes, on there. Yes, because the more people that know, the more people that repent, the better that God will deal with it. In fact, he, he spared a lot in his wife just because Abraham asked for their, li their lives in the destruction of Sodom and Gomorrah in Genesis. You can look it up yourselves. It's very straightforward, very simple. These churches are lying. And did you go to any other churches outside of Fresno? We went to churches outside. We've gone to churches all over the U.S. We're from New York. I'm from New York. He's from Oregon. So you, have you guys traveled cross country or where, where have you guys all been? We've traveled all over the place. Traveled all through the states because we traveled by car, as you saw with the van. So we've traveled everywhere. And everywhere that God tells us to stop, we stop. If there's brothers there, we encourage the brothers and sisters that are there. If there's people there that need to be woken up, we wake them up by the grace and glory of God, to His glory. Because grace doesn't mean unmerited favor. It means divine influence on the heart. So that little prick that you're feeling right now, with the words that I'm saying, that wait a minute, what is this guy talking about? That's conviction of God, that's your conscience. And you're supposed to wrestle it with the book, like Jacob wrestled the angel until the morning to get his new name and the blessing. You have to do that. Right? You have to be willing to sell all you have and give it unto the poor and go preach his word. What does that mean? Like, I don't have any belongings, really. I really don't. All I have is a backpack. That's it. And even that is bought for me. All the clothes in it are bought for me. I think the, of the things that are on me that I actually own is a pair of pants. That's it. The rest has been given to me. The rest has been given to me by God as a blessing to do his work. Because I don't care about where I sleep, where I eat, what I wear, what I do. All I care about is getting his word to his people because his people are going to die. And have you faced charges at any of the other churches or any of the other cities that you stopped at? I've been arrested twice so far. I've been talked to by the police many, many times, but I've only been arrested twice. This is the second time. The first time was in New York, ironically enough, for basically the same exact thing. We walked into a church on Christmas Eve and we told them that Christmas Eve, that Christmas was actually a pagan holiday and to stop doing it. Like, it's, it's actually really disgusting when you think about it. Christmas is a fertility ritual. Like, I know you're probably gonna have to edit some of this because, oh no, you can't have this out, but I'm gonna tell you this much, that tree ain't a tree, it's an idol. That wreath ain't a wreath, it's an idol. You can go look it up yourself, it takes five seconds on Google. That's the reason that God's so angry with us, because in Daniel 12, 4, it says that in those days, knowledge will be increased, right? We have no excuse. We're literally carrying around supercomputers in our pockets with the capability to launch the Apollo 13 mission. Really, that's what we're carrying around in our pockets. They have the data right there. You can look it up yourselves. I'm not telling you anything you can't find on the internet in the Bible. But then the internet is kind of un unreliable because you don't really know what you're saying, right? You don't know where you're coming from. Well, the Bible is reliable. It's God's word. Yeah, it's been messed with over the years. So what? The lying pen of the scribe, it's written right in the Bible that this is going to happen, and it tells you how to stop it if you actually study. Isaiah 28.10 says to study line upon line, precept upon precept, here a little, there a little. 2 Timothy 2.15, which I mentioned earlier, tells you to rightly divide the word of truth. Because his word is a book that's meant to be read by everyone, right? So if any of you have any of this, start reading. Like, start reading your Bible. It says in 1 John 2.27 that you need not man to teach you, but the very spirit that you are given will teach you all things. John 16.13 tells you that he will send another comforter, the spirit of truth, who will lead you into all truth. These are things that are written in the Bible. John 14, 15 says, If ye love me, keep my commandments. John 15, 10 says, This is how ye know ye abide in me, that you keep my commandments, and you abide in me, and I abide in the Father. 
Oh, this is how we do I don't do want this. to interrupt you, but what, what's what's next for you guys on this journey? Are you guys going to any other places or? We uh, don't know. You don't know? You guys just Every led. single day is led by God. Okay. Like, we were led by God to come down here. We were hoping for a chance to talk to the, to the news since yesterday, and we got that chance by the grace and glory and power of God because it's all glory to Him. I am dust. You are dust. We can't claim any glory of our own. Why would we want to? Like that that's like say, that's like the potter like that's like the clay saying to the potter make me this. How does a clay know what to tell the potter to make of it? He doesn't. Right? You've seen this. You hear this. You know this. What's your message to the 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 churches and the you know the you know the synagogue? What what what's your what's your message to them because they are Okay. A little bit upset about the methods that. Oh, of course that, they're upset. That were, that were they're taken. very upset. Just what's your message to them and, well, and their parishioners? Okay, so to the churches, specifically the pastors, Ezekiel thirty-four, Jeremiah twenty-three, Isaiah thirty, verse ten. You know it. Look it up. Read it. For the synagogues, there are so many verses that tell you to stop feasting in a polluted land. You're in captivity. You're not in the land. Tobit feasted and was blinded. Daniel fasted during the feast and was given revelation of the end times. Do you see the connection there? There's a bit of a connection there. God don't want you to do his holy feasts in a profane land. Stop doing them in a profane land. You don't even have the calendar. Because God took away the calendar because you disobeyed him. What the fuck are you doing? What are you doing? And you churches. His name's Yeshua. It's not Jesus. It's never been Jesus. I said later, I said earlier, Jesus is a Rome's winter solstice pagan demigod. He was created. And here's another one for you. John 5, 43, I come in my father's name and ye receive me not. His father's name is Yahovah. His name's Yeshua. Yeshua means Yahovah saves. It's even right there in the Bible. You won't find it in the New Testament. You'll find it in the Old. Joshua, the son of Nun. Go look it up in the Strong's. Yahoshua, Yeshua, that is Joshua's name in Hebrew. And that is who he came as. He came as a Hebrew man to a Hebrew people. Why would, we ha why would he have a Greek name? That doesn't make any sense at all. Study your Bible. Rightly divide the word of truth for yourself. And for you pastors. Because I know you watch this and you're going to see and you're going to mention something about this. You have to. Because we've said too much stuff and your people watch the news too often for you to say nothing. So to you pastors, Ezekiel 34, Jeremiah 23, Isaiah 30, verse 10, they're talking about you. Repent, because God is not happy with the shepherds who have scattered his flock, who have closed the doors to the synagogues and the churches and said, you know what, you can come in, but you can't. James 4, 4 says, Woe to you, adulterers and adulteresses! Know ye not that friendship with the world is enmity with God? Yeah, that's talking right to you, 501c3. That's talking right to you, 501c3 churches and synagogues. Your businesses, for their parishioners, get out of there. Study your Bible. Because God has a message for you. He doesn't want you to perish. He wants you to be saved. But the only way you're going to find it is by studying the Bible yourself. Don't, add, don't require anyone else to do it. You may or may not continue to do this. just depends on... Not here. We've been told not to. Oh, right. And... But anywhere else, it's, it's legal. Anywhere else, we'll spread this word. Now we know that we can't post signs on private property in the state of California. So we'll post them on the light post because that's municipal property. We, they can't say a word about that. Is this your first place in California that you... Um, this, is the, this is one of the places that we stopped in California. Is this your first one? Our first one? Yeah. Okay. Been first one that you've now. been... Uh, that we've been, been arrested. apprehended, okay. yeah. But we talked to the police in Bethel, in Bethel, California, right in California. Bethel Church up there, yeah, we talked to them because they're lying all through their ever-loving teeth. They've been lying. They've been lying for a long time. That's why they got that beautiful, nice campus. Because get this, when you do what the prince of this world wants, he rewards you. Shockingly enough, because all he can do is copy God. So the prince of this world, the enemy, his name's Hasatan. If you really want to get Paleo-Hebrew with it, doesn't really matter. I don't care. The point is, is that he's there to resist you. Resist the devil, he will flee from you. How you do that? You study the word so that you know what to say to them. Is there any other questions that you, that you ladies and gentlemen have for me? 
Uh, did, did we get your names? My name is Daniel James Watson. I can you spell it for Daniel. D A N I E L J A M E S W A T S O N. How old are you, Daniel? I'm 32. Me? 32. But I don't care about how old I am physically because that's just a number. What I care about is how old God says that I am. And I'm a child in His eyes. We're all children in His eyes. Sodish, wicked, adulterous children who have gone after false gods for too long. He's tired of it. He winked at this in times past. He's done winking. Are you guys going to go get a, um, your van and pick up the dog? Well, we'll see. If, if y'all leads, then we will definitely do so. I mean, the dog is definitely on our mind. We love that dog. He's been with us for this entire trip. He's a good dog. He's a, good, he's a German Shepherd, black. He's friendly as all get out. Won't harm. He eats flies, but I think that's about it. He sniffs at other things. I don't think I've ever seen him attack another animal with the intent to harm. He loves, he loves people. He'll walk right up to you, sniff you, wag, wag his tail, lick your hand. He loves you. But that's because he understands the truth. Because he's a watchman too. But I'm going to tell you this. Watchman, all that means is that I know what the Bible says. That's it. It's nothing special. I'm nothing special. I'm dust. How can dust be proud? I am a worm and a reproach of, of all men. Because that's what Yeshua was. And how dare I be any different from my master? Right? Right. Hi, I'm Monty Torres with Fox 26 News on YouTube. Thank you for checking out our YouTube channel, where we have loads of great content for you to choose from. And while you're here, why not click on the subscribe button right here? That way you can stay in touch with all the latest breaking news, everything news related within the Central Valley. And thank you for watching.